Yeah, um, you know, it's my third year around. I've, I've been a part of some great teams. Um, learned a lot of things from a lot of older guys. I think, you know, having the egos away and keeping everybody the, their own leader in some sort um, is going to be very helpful for this team. Um, you know, just, you know, everybody's knowing their role and keep moving forward, doing their thing. And uh, I think the chemistry on this team is very special. And I think, um, you know, if we keep doing th doing the things, little, little things right, um, it should be a fun year. What were your thoughts as this team was being built during the summer when you thought, you thought this guy's coming, this guy's coming? What were your, what were you thinking? Like, God, we're you talking about like getting players over? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah transfers, I mean, as the summer progressed, you're like, yeah. wow. Yeah, it was awesome uh, just to see um, the transformation from last year over to this year. Um, it was a huge transformation uh, from the players. Um, I think it was awesome. I think it was great seeing the guys come over from uh, other schools. I, th I, I know I knew all of them, so uh, you know I, I tried my best to uh, you know you know say something to try to get them over here. Is you know so so we had a pretty good team for this year, and I, I knew how uh, they I know I knew they'd like Coach Jay and all the coaches here, so. Um, yeah, I, it's just it's been it's been awesome. You know, like I said, the egos have been pushed to the side, and it's all all one. And you know, we're all going in the same direction this year. You get to face these guys every day, but just the pitching staff as a whole, I mean, can you see a pretty big difference from last year to this year in terms of just the arms and the talent that's the yeah, staff? Yeah, definitely, definitely. The mental side has been awesome uh, for the pitchers. Um, they're definitely mixing in. Uh, more than two different pitch, two different pitches, uh, three different pitches um, compared to last year. You know, just mixing them in, throwing them for strikes, um, and they can throw them in any different counts too. So it's been fun to definitely face those guys. Uh, I think it's going to be, you know, um, I guess it's going to slow the game down once, once the season comes. Sure. Defensively, you mentioned that you want to get up to that sort of level. What does that actually look like for you? Like, what do you want to sort of improve on? Um, really, just you know, show that I can stay in center field. Uh, I think uh, doing the little things like coming out here every day, uh, you know, getting live reads off the bat as much as I can, improving my speed in, in the uh, weight room, and doing uh, doing whatever I can to, you know, improve my speed every single day. I think to, doing little things like that is going to improve on my outfield skills and you know make this team better for sure. Is this one of the most talented teams you've been a part of? For sure. Most importantly, it's one of the mo closest teams I've ever been a part of. Um, I know I, I could die for any one of these guys, and they'll do the same thing for me. So uh, I think that's the biggest thing uh, that's going to take this team far for sure. How do you handle the expectations from pretty much everywhere going into this season? Yeah, uh, well, you know, we always say we don't really listen to the outside noise. You know, it's uh, it's what goes in that locker room um, is is something special, and uh, just knowing that we got each other's back. Uh, you know, not really listening to anything. You know. Um, just trusting one another. I think we do that. Um, you know, we can't promise you anything, but we'll promise you the best, you know, effort and attitude out there on the field for sure. Lots of arms, obviously, that are, that are new. What kind of excites you? This some of the guys that you've gone against, and maybe some of the guys that you uh, don't exactly savor going against. Yeah, no, it's it's awesome facing those guys. Um, just seeing the growth in them every single day, um, being able to command three different pitches, four different pitches. Um, you know, every time I see them the second time, it's it's they're way better than the the time before. So um, I'm just really excited to see how they do against uh, other competition this year. A couple guys that stick out there. A couple guys. I mean, Ty Floyd. Ty Floyd has been tremendous. Uh, he has made a, a huge impact uh, for our team this year, and you know, he's been his growth from last year has been awesome. He's uh, really looking. I'm really looking forward to seeing how he does this year. You expect to hit leadoff, and do you like that? And what did you want to do after you assessed what you want to improve on, and, and maybe strikeouts and stuff like that? Yeah, uh, you know, definitely. You know, I'm probably going to lead off this year. Uh, you know, get more abs under my belt. Uh, I think it's important for me to see pitches um, because I'm not really a secret like I was, you know, freshman year and a little bit of last year. So it's important for me to see pitches, getting deeper counts, and um, really trust my guys behind me. You know, I have a lot of protection this year, so. Where, um, you know, it's a, my role is to kind of get on for these guys and let them drive drive me in. You haven't been much of a secret, and this year there's a lot of hype. How do you handle that type of pressure? Yeah, it's uh, it's my second time around. You know, this is uh, this is not my first rodeo. I've done this in high school, so I, I definitely know what to expect. I know how to handle it now. I think in high school I didn't really know how to handle it, uh, but that's kind of why I ended up here, and that's you know, it was a blessing in disguise. Though it's been the best best 
three years of my life. And uh, um, so, yeah, it's, uh, I know what to expect now. I know how to handle it. And, uh, you know, just taking it day by day, taking it day by day and uh, not looking too far in, into the future. A lot of expectations this season. How do you deal with it? Um, I mean, we're just taking it day by day and uh, putting our front foot foot forward and uh, just we're focused on practice that right now and uh, getting better and uh, getting ready for opening day. What led you here? Uh, I mean, Coach Johnson came to my house and I um, really liked everything about him, about the program. Took a visit here, fell in love with the campus, everything about it, and uh, I committed the next morning. So. Dylan's going to try to recruit everybody. Did he try to recruit you? Dylan? Uh, Dylan didn't talk to me. <laughs> Dylan didn't know who I was. He was over here in Baton Rouge doing his own thing. Now, uh, as soon as actually the day I committed, Dylan and his family reached out to me and uh, were happy and uh, got in contact really quick. Came down here, saw him, and uh, yeah, we've been friends. So, what do you see the potential of an offense with you, Dylan Cruz, all the other hitters in this uh, on this team? Well, the potential's there. Um, we just gotta do what we've always done since we've been three, four years old. So uh, just continue to get our swings in, see pitches, and uh, just get people on base. You took a big swing there with the, the tattoo on your forearm. Just uh, what made you want to get that, and I guess, so early in your career? Here? Um, I mean, I've always wanted to tie your tattoo. It's just a coincidence that I'm here now. I've had months and months of, uh, like, I got the one on my arm and this one, and then it just fell into place. I, I committed to LSU, and I'm getting a tiger tat. But, uh, uh, I guess it means something to me now. Like, I mean, I'm going to be a Tiger till I die. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a good one to have. Now's the time to do it for me. When it gets filled in, is there going to be some purple or gold in it? <sighs> Maybe down the road. Um, I'm kind of liking the black and gray theme. I got the eyes red, but uh, yeah, well, we'll see. Maybe down the road. Maybe on the other arm. Have you been able to interact, I guess, with, you know, this, this place is pretty special in terms of former players coming back and always training here in the off season. Have you been able to interact with any of those guys? And what have they kind of told you about? what to expect in this program. Yeah, I've talked to some guys, um, and uh, LSU baseball is everything. Uh, that's why people keep coming back here, because of the facilities we have, and uh, uh, just it's home here for everybody. So uh, um, yeah, I've talked to some of the guys, and um, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, they tell us what pro ball is like and everything, and uh, yeah. Defensively, at third base, you're working with Chris Jordan, I think, a lot. Um, just what is I guess, what are some of the biggest strengths you've noticed defensively in your game since arriving here? Um, I definitely feel like I've gotten a lot more confidence over there, um, being out of third base uh, for a couple for games last year. It was tough, but um, I feel more confident. I got my confidence back, and I'm making plays, and uh, that, that's all. I, I just had to get my confidence back over there. I think we kind of take this and everything when we walk in for granted. Most of us have been here for years. Seeing other program, being a part of another program, what what kind of stuck out to you? I guess on your visit that that kind of popped. I mean, when I stepped foot on this field, I saw f stands in left field and right field, and I, was, I thought that was crazy for college. Uh, so um, to be able to just like be able to play here every single day is, is something that I would never take for granted. And uh, um, I mean, I, that's, that's about it. I love it here. On the development side, some of the, oh yeah, so you know just some of the infrastructure they have there. Yeah, like, I mean the hard. coaches we have, best coaching staff in America, that's for sure. And um, the weight room, the cages right there. We come out here 10 o'clock at night, flip the lights on, hit home runs all day. I mean it's pretty awesome. Paul Skeens was announced as the Friday night starter. What did you see out of him, <coughs> and you know what's difficult about hitting off? Um, everything is difficult about hitting off him. Uh, he's got a lot of pitches, and he knows how to use every single one of them. So. Um, not only that, is that he's just very competitive on the mound, and he's such a dog out there that he doesn't want to lose. So he's going to get everything he has every time he steps foot on that mound. Can you go into depth just how <clears throat> bad the want is for this team, and just like how many late nights are we going to be expecting, you know, from guys just taking the extra ground balls and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, the want is there. Uh, we're all on the same goal. Uh, we have meetings after meetings, and it's all we, what we want to do in the future and what we want to do here now. Um, so yeah, every guy is on the same page of working as hard as they can to get to that goal. I think when you came here on your visit, you committed before Jay even knew about it or something. You just decided you were coming here. Can you take us through like that day and what made you decide to come here? Yeah, um, <clears throat> I was with Jay when I committed. Uh, I committed uh, at breakfast with him. And um, where was breakfast? Uh, I forgot what the restaurant was, um, but it was yeah. Uh, 
but yeah, I committed with uh, Coach Jay there, and um, he was ecstatic and uh, finished. The, I committed while I was on my visit, so it was pretty cool. Did you take any other visits during that time? I was supposed to take a visit to Tennessee the following weekend, but I ended up committing. Yeah, I'm really glad. You guys are competitive guys. I mean, got to ask, you know, you have anything going with Dylan or any of the other guys uh, that are going to be in this lineup about who hits the most home runs this season? No. No. No, we're just hoping we all hit a lot. <laughs> Dylan talked about how you guys, this is the closest he's ever been with a team. Is it the same for you? Yes. Uh, we all gelled uh, with, uh, we have a mental coach that comes in, Dean. He's, uh, he, the first time I was like, oh, I don't know if this is for me. And then uh, I went through what, what he was, what he talked about, and um, we the whole team bought in, and we all just became so close. And it's definitely one of the closest teams I've ever been a part of in my life by far. I mean, everybody loves everybody. It's awesome. It's very rare, just especially with how talented this roster is. Yeah, it's uh, it's easier to play too. Uh, it's way easier to play when you want to win for the other guy, not yourself. Good to meet you, Tommy. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and, and your mindset through all that. Yeah, um, I mean, obviously coming back from injury so short, having to uh, to go through that, it was pretty tough, but it was just one of those things that I knew that I had to deal with um, and our team knew that I was dealing with, so it was just part of what I had to go through for the team to for us to be as good as we wanted to be. Um, so, I mean, I just went out there every day and tried to do the best I could, knowing that maybe I wasn't going to have every step that I wanted to take or – I wasn't going to get to every ball, but I didn't let it stop me from really going out there and trying to help my team win every single night. But as the season continued to progress, uh, I continued to get into the to the training room with our trainers. Corey was amazing for me last year, um, and he was able to get me through all that time and get me to a point where I want to be, which is right now where I'm feeling 100% healthy, probably in the best shape running-wise, uh, mobility-wise I've been since like 16, 17 years old. So uh, I'm just really excited to uh, be able to get after the season for our boys, for sure. Your offense really seemed to grow a lot uh, last year at the play. Do you feel like you've taken another step up in that respect? Yeah, 100%. I think uh, over the past year, we've definitely made a lot of good changes, uh, maybe ones that, uh, that I didn't know that I needed to take, um, but definitely have been able to simplify what I've been doing at the play, uh, a better approach and stuff like that. And it, it just relates to what Coach Johnson has us do every day. I mean, we're going to take balls, we're going to crush mistakes, and we're going to fight when we have two strikes. And I think when everyone's bought into that, you see a very powerful team that, that can put balls out of the yard at any time. But uh, I think as long as we're consistent and stick to our routines, I mean, we're only going to progress and just continue to get better as the season goes on. What's it been like working with this new strength coach? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's been awesome. I, I, I owe a lot of credit to him for the way that my body has changed over the past couple of months. I'm definitely using my legs a lot better. I'm in my body. I feel like uh, like I'm able to run better than ever. Um, he's just been great. He's able to uh, do a lot of things that, that we haven't been able to do. I feel like uh, we're running well. I think this is probably the fastest team that we've had, along with the most powerful team. So um, personally, I, I give him a lot of credit for the way that he has helped me develop. And I know that a lot of teammates would say the same. What has he like brought in that's different? Like, um, more like uh, position-based type of lifts, not just like throwing a bunch of weight on the bar and seeing how much weight you can lift up, just really using the way that your body moves, incorporating with the workouts that we do. So if that's lesser weight, but it's a movement that I haven't done, I'm going to get a lot more sore than doing something that has a lot of weight, but I've done a million times. So I, I think he's really able to incorporate a lot of things that you'll see us do on the field. I mean, we do a lot of like band stuff, a lot of uh, movements with weight and stuff like that. So it really just allows us to be able to control those movements when we get, get onto the field. So it's definitely been huge for us. Uh, can you talk about the chemistry in the middle infield? It seems mm -hmm. like you guys are rotating a lot there. Just the growth you've seen from guys at second base and yourself at Georgia. Yeah, I think it's really good. I think you have a group of guys that really want to work hard and really want to play well and just want to make every play. I mean, we come out here every day and we give it our all. Uh, me and Tommy have talked about it the past couple of days. Like every time we're out here, we want to earn it at the end of the day, you know, never leave the field feeling like we didn't give it our all. So I think everyone has bought into that. And uh, we get out here early to see you guys taking ground balls right now. I mean, we don't start for another 20 minutes. Guys have been out here, we're hitting and stuff like that. So I think everyone's just really bought into the fact that we don't just want to be good. You know, we want to be great. And, you know, this is what it takes for us to be like that. Is 
that what kind of went into reporting back here early mm -hmm. and kind of working out together? I know that y'all usually kind of go work out in your separate places. Yeah. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, and for me and Dylan, we stayed at the end of a uh, break right after school ended. We stayed for like two weeks. I didn't end up going home until like January 20th. And then I came back January like 3rd or something like that. So, I mean, everybody's been in here. It's great to see. I think in the in the past years you would see like guys coming in probably right when school starts and stuff like that. But guys were here two weeks earlier making sure that we were able to get in there with our trainer and not, you know, hit the ball running, like hit the ground running and stuff like that. Uh, there was no really like lag from when we started. It was like from day one, everyone was hopping and popping like we've been doing it. So it's just really great to see. I mean, everyone's bought into what we do. And I think uh, it was great uh, from last year's team. I think we set a really good foundation for what we do this year. It's kind of something that, all of the newcomers, uh, just it's just something that they know now. It's it, they won't know any different going forward. And I think when I was a freshman, I didn't really have that. And coming into it now, it's like for the next few years, you could tell that this is going to be the type of program that we want to be for years to come. So we're just we're really excited. We all know Tommy as a hitter, mm -hmm. as a fielder. Talk about it. Yeah, he surprised me a lot. Uh, I think he is a lot more athletic than people might give him credit for. He makes a lot of plays out there. He makes it look easy, and he's someone that I'm that I'm happy to be able to share the left side of the infield with because I know that he's going to be able to get the job done for us for sure. He moves really well, and uh, and he he loves to make the plays. He, he's hard on himself out there, and I love that because he I know that he wants to to do great for our team. How would you characterize the chemistry of the team? I think it's the best chemistry on the team that I've ever been a part of. And last year's team was a very tight-knit team. And uh, I think it took until probably after the Florida weekend or the Florida weekend during the middle of the season last year to where we really felt like we were glued together. And uh, I think this year that kind of started towards the end of the fall because we had a lot of those returners that helped lay down the foundation along with the new guys. And I don't know, everything just started to click. Everyone's been on the same page since day one, so it kind of made it easy for everyone to uh, – to buy into that. So, I mean, it's awesome. Everyone wants to get out here and work. There's no one that's uh, that's out uh, out of the picture that doesn't want to be here. I mean, when when in, it's the middle of the day, there's guys at the field. When it's 9 o'clock, 10 p.m., the guys are at the field. We're hitting. So uh, it's just really awesome to see. Any more questions for Jordan? I do. You and Dylan met, I think, it was, he was telling me that Team USA mm -hmm. and second base, mm -hmm. y'all were playing against each other. Yeah. Um, can you elaborate on your friendship since mm. then and, you know, what it's like being friends with Dylan? Yeah, um, so it was, a, yeah, it was a 15U national team trials, and uh, I was playing second base. He had just gotten a hit and then stole second base. And he looked up at me and he said, you just committed LSU, right? And I was like, yeah. And then he looked at me, he said that he was going to commit there too. I was like, oh, sweet, bro. Like, we got to be roommates. And uh, so right then and there, I, I mean, I didn't obviously know that it would end up being that way, but... Um, after our senior year, we both ended up on campus. We were roommates, and uh, he's been my best friend ever since. I mean, we spend all day, every day together ever since we were freshmen. So, I mean, it's just awesome to see. And we, and we really push each other every single day. Like, we're always coming out here at hit. He's always pushing me to do better. I'm always pushing him to do better. He's just a really great friend to have uh, that wants the same things as you, you know, to be able to go out there and just know that we're on the same page and to know that he's got my back, I got his back, and stuff like that. I just... I don't know he's someone that, uh, that I couldn't imagine like doing all this without for sure. What's your favorite memory with him so far playing on this team together? Um, maybe our dude. There's so many. I, I think one that sticks out to me would be our freshman year when we went to Ole Miss. He had a home run to take the lead. I think he made the the score like five to four or something like that. Late. It might have been like the seventh or eighth inning, really late in the game. But. Uh, I remember he, he had like hit it and he threw his bat down. And if you look in the camera angle and they turn it to the side, I'm the first one like jumping my arms up in the air. And that kind of just like shows the type of thing that me and him have. Cause I know when I hit my walk off home run against uh, Oklahoma, he was the first person jumping up on the field for me too. So yeah, I, th I think uh, la uh, my freshman year at Ole Miss was probably uh, one of the, the moments that sticks out for me at least. Have you always had similar style? Like I think so, yeah. Stuff, like, <laughs> yeah. Is that on purpose or it just like happened? No, it's not on purpose. I think it just happened. Uh, ever since our freshman year, people would always come up to us and ask us if we were brothers or if we were twins and stuff like that. We think it's kind of funny, but I don't know. I guess we kind of are very similar in those ways. I think that's why we're, we're such great friends and stuff like that. 
you know, I, I hasten to put the guy on anybody, but what, what makes Paul an elite player in college baseball is kind of the way I look at it. Um, what makes Paul elite, you know, it, it, a lot of things, right? You got to first have a little bit of talent, but, but then you got to understand the game and you got to understand what makes you special every single day through work, your, your workouts, through your sleep, through your nutrition, through every aspect, through recovery. Um, and then waking up and understanding how to use your stuff to attack hitters. And, and I think that's what, you know, when, I guess I've said it a couple times today, you pour all that in a funnel and that's kind of where Paul Skeens comes out. He, he gets all those. What do you like about working with him and what are you looking forward to seeing out of him this year? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's like anybody, right? Anybody here, whether it be you, whoever, they love working with people who, who wake up every day and try to get better and who bring something to uh, not only the staff, you know, Paul Skeens brings things to me that, that I go, mm, yeah, hey, man, I just got better being around Paul Skeens today. So anytime you're around anybody that in any form of, of light, people want to be around you, and that, that's, that's, that's Paul. How do you see the rest of the rotation kind of shaking out thus far and some of the candidates? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, I talked earlier today about, you know, we'll probably do things a little different here. I, rotation, don't know. Um, you know, Ty Floyd's throwing the ball exceptionally well. Had a, had a phenomenal fall, fall. Grant Taylor's throwing the ball well. Thatcher Hurd's throwing the ball well. Uh, Christian Little, uh, in our live um, sessions since we've been back, has thrown the ball extremely well. Um, you know, so we, we've had some guys. Blake Money has had some good sessions since we've been back. Yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna do things through a matchup system, and uh, yeah, all those guys are out there doing it. And you know, if they're not starting, they're obviously gonna have a significant role in what we're doing. What's impressed you about that? Very, very uh, driven um, from the standpoint of like, man, his, his routine is his life. Um, it, it's impressive to watch. So he's, obviously we know he's got good stuff, um, but like, like that side of it, it's different than what Paul's is, so to speak, but it's, it's on that same kind of level. I love your shoes, but the question I need to ask you is, what made you decide to come to LSU? Uh, yeah, I, I talked about this earlier as well. Um, I think the biggest thing, you know, if I was going to leave college, I wanted to come back to a place that had some tradition, that had some history, um, that, that had a you know, phenomenal fan base like this, that uh, wakes up every day in a, in a national title, and chasing that is important. Um, and, and then I, wanted, I wasn't just going to come back and work for anybody. Um, I, Jay has that, right? I mean, he's the... We wake up every day. We both wake up every day. I, I believe a, a thousand percent in my heart. We wake up every day thinking, what do we got to do to get a player better, to get a recruit, to get whatever it is, to get to a national title? Doesn't mean you're going to get one, but but it puts you in a position, you know, hopefully to get one. Every player we've interviewed has said this is like the closest team they've ever been a part of. Can you feel that? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. To, you know, uh, I. Yeah, I, I can go to great teams I was a part of with, in the big leagues to college to everything. And, and, and all the great ones you're around, the locker room's tight. And, and you definitely have that feeling here. I think Ty Floyd said at the banquet that you brought sleds to the pitching conditioning world. Can you elaborate on why or like what that oh, there, Yeah, there, you know, a lot of people think that's just busy work or punishment or whatever, but at the end of the day, there, there really is biomechanic science behind it. So, yeah, we, we, we just bring them. It, it does add an element of toughness, I think, to the player. It, they're not easy, um, but yet uh, the guys will tell you now, like if you <laughs> really get down to them, it's made them better. You know, they're, they're, but it, if it doesn't transfer, we, we don't do it. They, they, they were probably wondering if the sleds were going to transfer. They see it now. Is it the so, leg strength mainly, or is there anything uh, else to it? Yeah, they, yeah I mean, we, we could get, there's scaps, rhythm involved. There's glute medius, the hamstring, the core. Yeah, there's, there's a lot. What interests you about biomechanics? Oh, it all interests me, right? But the biggest thing you look at in, is sequencing. You know, you, it, biomechanics give you sequence, you know, and, and everybody's sequence is going to be a little different. That's why you have to assess them in the weight room. What, does, what, what do you mean by when you say sequencing? Like I have an idea. Of. Um, uh, yeah, like, you know, the front leg start or the back leg starts, the front leg hits, glove moves, chest moves, shoulder moves, elbow moves, wrist moves. Freshman we've heard about, I think Chase Shores and Griffin Herring, and what do they bring to this team? And 
um, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're all going to have opportunity. Um, uh, and yeah, I think they bring, they bring a different look uh, and, and they bring an ability to come in and, and help our team immediately.